Good evening. Welcome to Sewing the Bourbon. Charlie, we are excited tonight, aren't we? We are excited every night, but we are particularly we are. excited this evening. Tell them what we have. We have our designer dram back, and we're going to open it and drink it, and it's going to be great. Bespoke. Bespoke. Okay, designer dram. If you didn't watch episode one. Shame on you which we released a couple of weeks ago. You should have already watched. Yes, you should have. And if you haven't, go back and watch it now. I'm gonna post a link right here. Okay, so we purchased this experience from Designer Dram a couple of weeks ago. The kit. They sent us the kit. We tasted five different whiskeys. Mm -hmm. Decided what we liked, what we didn't like. That's right. What did we decide, Glenn? We all agreed to a particular blend and then I went home in the following day. And did exactly what I knew he was going to do, <laughs> which is switch it up. So what did you switch it up to? I did. So do you remember what we were going to do? We were going to do a 50-50. 50-50 of the 95-5. The 95-5 the the rye and mm -hmm. the 50% rye bourbon. Yes, that's what we were going to do, but I made an executive decision. You certainly did. And we went with 50% uh, rye bourbon, which is a 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley, and then 25% of the barley rye, and 25% of the pure rye, 95.5. Yeah, and the barley rye is a 51 rye, 49 malted barley mash bill. And for those who haven't watched the first episode, this is all MGP whiskey five to ten years old which is awesome so it is you, awesome you know it's going to be pretty not bad yeah uh can we talk about the thing yeah let's talk about so it. the thing that this this decanter that you get which is truly a decanter it has a plastic stopper a beautiful glass topper the the bottle is beautiful and we'll we'll post you know all sorts of pictures and rotating videos Custom labeling for us. Thank you, Designer Dream. Yes, it's thank wonderful. You. And they even put the mash bill on the front. It, it's perfect. And it comes in this, comes in a box. And then the box has a thing. And the box has the mash bill. Like, it is genuinely, I mean, top notch. It is. Like, it's a amazing. great, great product so far. And I can't wait to taste this. And, Charlie, we're going to be honest, right? We are because going to be 100% honest. And if for some reason this isn't great, whose fault is it? It's ours. It's 100% no, our fault. It's 100% Because our fault. we picked the blend. We did. And we, did. we know MGP knows what they're doing when we they did. make whiskey, so. And we have extensive experience blending. So extensive. Very, very extensive. It's Let's time. try this. It's time. I'm excited. And this is 94 proof, 94 by the proof, way. you can pick your proof. This is the highest they would let us have it. Yes. So it's, you know, just a, your pretty basic amber yeah, kind of whiskey a, color. Nothing kind of too a dark. Sepia. Puts a nice ring. It has good cling on the glass. It really does. Yeah, sure does. R very syrupy for 94 mm -hmm. proof. Are you seeing that? It is kind of viscous and just kind of really sticking to the side of the glass. I'm going to nose it now. That smells nice. It does smell nice. A uh, lot of great rye character. Mm -hmm. I'm um, picking up that musty grape, uh, yep. almost a almost a wine, musty wine note. That, that kind of um, that barley inspired, but I, I do get. It's a very nice nose. It is it, nice it, nose. It, kind of that um, that rye is there, but it also has like that like a very sweet candy kind of corn to it. The candy, almost a crisp, uh, light fruit nose to it. Yeah. You know, what nice. I call just that, I don't know, there's, to me, an Indiana rye has just a yeah. certain... A hundred percent. A certain, yep. uh, not footprint, but nose print, yep. and this has it. So let's... It, it's drinking time. Get into it. Designer dream. Cheers. Want me to go? If you'd like to. So... Right up front is that spicy rye flavor. Um, kind of mellows out as soon as it 
rolls to the, the sides and the back of your tongue. Get a little bit of, I feel like the, the, the barley is really noticeable. I find that to be um, really complex because, so I, I had three little sips while you were talking and I'm kind of just letting it sit there now. Instant rice spice, you hit, hit the nail on the head when you, and it's a very pleasant rice spice. It's not overpowering. It's that kind of spicy tickle on your tongue and it lingers there for a while. So you get that spicy and that kind of tingle as you kind of cascade to those other flavors. Mm -hmm. We've done another episode, I cannot remember which it was, where it was like drinking two, it was the Hugh Hamer. Two different. Two different mash, or bourbons. two different bourbons. Yeah. Like the front tasted like one thing. And, and this is, is no exception. Spicy rye mm -hmm. transitions to kind of that sweet, savory, classic bourbon. Um, the sweetness is there. It's strong, but it doesn't hang around long. And then you're left with that kind of barley, right. that grainy, earthy. I really like it. I think you did a good job. I find it very intriguing. It's a very interesting pour. It's a great nose, and it continues on to the palate. Well, as you as you have been speaking, I mean that finish. It's it's still there mm -hmm. on my palate, and I've still got that really pleasant spiciness on my palate. Plus, the sweetness is there. A little bit of sweet corn yeah. on the end, but not that not that off putting unpleasant sweet corn. Yep. Um, and getting some vanilla coming through now. I'm gonna kind of go back in on, the on my after sitting and drinking again. I'm starting to get some oak character. I'm starting to get that dryness, that that kind of that earthy oaky to it. I agree, which is kind of funny because on uh, on my first sip, I was gonna say kind of it tastes a little young. It tasted a little bit younger to me than the five to 10 year, but now first, that you say that. First drink of the day too. Mm -hmm. This Very is our true. first first episode. Very true. Not that we film multiple episodes in the evening. First drink of the day, so kind of waking that palate up. Fourth drink, you know, I, I made a little one ounce pour. I'm, I'm probably, you know, most of my way through it. I really like this. A and this is not because we picked it. We are pretty self-deprecating if it would have been terrible we would have told you and we would have laughed would about it it was terrible i really like this i like it too the more i drink it the more i like it because you get something new every time yeah. you, you kind of taste it it's an interesting blend i don't think anybody else would <laughs> wait you want a you want a high rye bourbon right. and a straight rye 95.5 and a barley rye but i think I don't know. I think it's a it's a good blend. It's a very interesting uh, whiskey. I think I think the proof is right where it should be. Honestly, oh, it's if it's it incredible. were much higher proof, I think it might be a little a little too a little too much. It is dangerously sippable mm -hmm. at ninety four proof. It, there is no alcohol. There is no burn or Kentucky hug. Um, there's no real alcohol on the nose. Just a, t just just a, a little tad bit. A little bit. Where you know your nose in bourbon. But overall, pretty unique, which is what we're into. And um, all in all, I think mission accomplished on the designer dram experience. I would agree. I enjoy it. Is it the best whiskey I've ever had? No. Certainly not the worst. Was anything that we would have picked <laughs> been the best? No, I'm no. not sure. And, not, no. and this is what's great about Designer Dram is if you just said, man, I really love that 95.5. I want a bottle of 95.5. We'll send you a 95.5. Absolutely. Or if you wanted to blend a bunch of weird stuff and do 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 and, and do, yeah. you can't. And here's what's great. They can't stop you. You can, you can get on their website and pick your own blend and you can purchase a bottle just like this for $169 without doing the whole experience. Right. So the experience was what? 200 and 249. 249. So if you do the whole experience, you want the samples, you want to do your own the, blend and all the that. The glass yep. and the graduated cylinder and all that. That's 249 and that includes the finished product here. 
And what's even cooler is for those who are watching and you might be curious to taste this particular bottle that we blended ourselves for yourself, we have a link for you. You, which, you can buy our blend. You can buy this. Um, you're gonna get a bottle just like this, a nice decanter. In the box. Um, $169, I know that's steep. It's a lot. But to be honest with you, for this decanter and to get a nice, very unique blend, I don't think it's that, that bad of a deal, honestly. It's not and a, it helps us out. It's not a single barrel, but it is a single bottle of a single blend. Right. So it's cool. Yes, $169 is a lot of money. We get it, leave you know the comments and everything. If your favorite bourbon's 10 bucks, good for you. But if you wanted to try something cool, it's 169 bucks. And I think it's pretty interesting because you'd be the only person on your street that has this particular bottle. Yes, you would. And I'm gonna post a link right here. So if you would like to, to purchase a bottle of our blend, you can do that using this link. We're also gonna put the link in the comments uh, below. Yep. So you can check that out. And if you do go and buy a bottle of this and you taste it, we would love to hear absolutely what your thoughts are you know glenn and charlie this is great or gosh you guys are terrible you, guys you don't are know what worst. you're doing um you know i'm looking forward to i i'm gonna do i'm gonna I, i'd like to try some other blends i i am you got the first one mm -hmm. we're we're going to drink our way through this one and when this one starts to run down we are going to design or dram it again or maybe you should pick your blend and we should put them up against each other oh in a blind so in the bourbon, oh, battle of the blend. Battle of the designers. I think we should do that, Charlie. That's a good idea. So yeah, and this wasn't meant to be a commercial for designer dram. They haven't, you know, they're not paying us to do this. This is something that we like to do. Um, there's so many different products out there right now. Um, it's something we can do to maybe yeah. possibly save you money or point you in the right direction to something that's that's worth checking out. So and this is worth Today, checking day out. of filming, first week of October, Christmas is coming up. If you have a bourbon drinker in your life, this is an amazing gift. And I know it's $249, but it just, instead of going and going to Total Wine or, or a liquor store and be like, hey, what's a good bottle of bourbon? and finding a 70 or $80 bottle off the shelf to give them something like this that they can enjoy. And, and you know, if you're sitting around at Christmas and everybody can kind of taste it and do it, it, it's so interactive. The quality of everything that you get from the packaging to the decanter itself and everything is, is top notch. It is absolutely worth the money. It is, and as you were talking, I thought, ooh, wouldn't that be cool if you were buying this for a gift or for someone? Ask them, hey, what's what's a couple of your favorite bourbons? Mm -hmm. They tell you, you go look, see what the mash bills are for those bourbons and see how close you can get, Yeah, you know, uh, uh, in blending one of these right. to their favorite if you don't bourbon. Do, if you don't want to yeah. give them the whole kit, you can just blend your own and have a custom sure. label made and boom, there's a decanter. And who isn't going to want that bottle in this box at Christmas time? I do. Buy me I one. Do. Yeah. You can buy me one, Charlie, if okay. you want. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, Charlie, I think we have said all we can here. I enjoy the I enjoy the whiskey. Do you want to rate it? Oh. Is that See fair that we're rating our own 100%. blend? 100%. Okay. 100%. Taking all, right. all things into okay. consideration. All things into consideration. The, the price, let's just focus on the $169.99. Take out the experience and everything. Okay. Let's just focus on the juice and it's... Oh, so we're taking out the whole thing. We're experience. taking out the whole thing. Okay. Just we're we're ranking the bourbon in the glass. Okay. You know what? I will give it so we're not even taking into account the the beautiful decanter and the customized label. Just give it a ranking, Glenn. <laughs> God bless America. I'll Just give it a it. solid seven point two five. It's a it's a four. It's it's a <laughs> no. Stop taking my stuff. I was gonna say it's a seven and a half, seven point seven five. It's very good. It's very unique for our blend. I really enjoy it. I'm excited to drink some more of it. I am too, Charlie. Wonderful, Glenn. Tell the people what to do. First of all, please like and subscribe. Click the buttons. 
And don't forget, if you'd like to try this whiskey, check out the link uh, in the comments below. Also check out our Facebook group. Sewn to Bourbon. And Instagram, Sewn to Bourbon. And TikTok. TikTok, which is? Whiskey Realtor. That's right. And most importantly, keep your wallets loose and your bungholes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Pop it. Sure, why not? Should we do it now or wait? Y yes, we. Cheese and crackers. Oh man, you just taste the label. It? Not our label. Dirty dog. Uh, we can. Ouch. Jeez. <laughs> we had very different childhoods, didn't we? A lack of supervision. Are we recording? <laughs> Is that big enough? You're getting real close to one word per page. Is that? That's not big, is it? <laughs> Welcome to Shore to Bourbon. And I have my glasses on. I want to make sure that I can read this. That's, well, <laughs> mission accomplished. I'm pretty sure you can read it from upstairs. Designer Graham, the actual thing. Take 56. Action.